What is up everyone? So last time we saw the S13, it was freshly sprayed in the booth. We only saw it in the booth and it looked unreal, but we just ran over to Innovative, let the thing cure for two days. Now we got it back in the shop and it looks insane. What do you think, Arj? It's your first time seeing it. Yeah, I didn't, I had to leave. Um, I'm blown away, dude. I know it's just like a simple black, but it just looks so good. We coined this, this black hella black. Hella black. So I know, just, I mean, look at this, dude. The body work, everything, it just looks amazing. Yes, there is some dirt in the paint. A lot of guys were like freaking out, like, can't believe we got dirt in the paint, but it happens. That's what a wet sand and buff is for. We'll get it all out, it'll look perfect then, and we're good to go. It this happens. Is too nice for a drift car. Way I mean, too nice. No, and I got a bunch of comments like, "Oh no, it's too nice. You can't drift it." But like, see, there. You that, guys are the biggest hypocrites ever. It's it's hard, and I know a lot of you guys are upset. I went with just black because I honestly could have changed the color to anything. But listen. Well, you know to what? Me, Guess what? It's Jimmy's car. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, uh, I've had this car for a very long time. This car means the world to me, and well, it's always been black. I've always loved the style of it. I've always loved the vibe of it, and I don't really care for. Drift cars be big, flashy, bass boat, or whatever. To me, this is my ideal car, and well, I like it. So, trust me, when the car is full together, you guys will be blown away, but very excited. But what I want to do is this. I've been oh, dying to yes. do this. I've been dying. Yes. Come on, help me here, kid. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh. All right, you stop that. No, I can't. There's <laughs> so much tape. All right, D-Mass, this thing looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see this thing with a glass in it later this week, but for now, we're not gonna touch it. I don't want any one's grubby little fingers touching this thing until the paint is like fully cured and I don't gotta worry about it. But for now, we'll just stare at it and admire it. So today is actually a big day for the E36 because today we are getting the built engine back in this car. Finally, I was hoping to do on Friday. We were waiting on one piece, it didn't show up until this morning. Now we got it, we can get this big hunk of metal in the car. So the last piece I was waiting for was the oil pan baffle. So I was kind of yelled up by everyone saying that like this is a complete must. If you're gonna like aggressively drive this car, drift it, especially, I'm not gonna drift it, but they said that even if you bring this thing to a track, you really gotta worry about oil slosh and starvation. So I got the baffle, it showed up. My buddy Johnny Little welded it up for me. It looks beautiful and now it's ready to go on. Everything is prepped. I spent the last couple days going crazy. Transmission looks brand new. All the parts are laid out. And now let's get this all together and get it into the car. There's no reason why I should have to RTV this thing, but they always freaking leak. So you gotta do it, as much as I hate doing this. You've used a lot of RTV in the last week. Bro, because if this thing leaks, I'm gonna be devastated, and it's a BMW, so even when you use brand new, like, thick-ass seals, they still leak. They're great engines. I just like the leak. This is a good moment, too. I'm not talking today. Uh, everyone yelled at me for the wire nutting, said I was doing it the wrong way. This bolt is reverse thread, so I did it right. Yeah, so, shut up. Snug? Yeah. And we're clean. All right. Let's get this thing on there. Did not forget the plate. Always forget the plate. This part of the build always kills me because you're just so close to getting it in, but like, there's still so much work to do. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's been a long time coming. The amount of just parts. <laughs> <laughs> You got that, Donald? Oh, I got it. Such, nah, a, such a, a strong boy. I had the wrong angle before. <laughs> All right, so clutch orientation of the E36 is always kill me, right? Because usually this part sticks out, but I'm very confident the thicker side goes on the inside. How confident? Like on a percentage scale. We're going to find out. That's all I'm going to say. Dude. Donnie, come hold this. Got a little factory hardware. It comes pre-locked tight. The weakest link of this project so far is in fact the clutch. So this clutch came with my swap. I was told it was rated for high horsepower. I couldn't even find this clutch online. So not feeling very confident. I think this is gonna be our limiting factor on the dyno. Probably should have replaced it, but this whole build got very expensive very quickly. So we'll see how far this will take us and then we'll go from there. So fingers crossed on this thing. All right, Donnie, do the honors. Donnie, those are not OSHA approved no. shoes for this right now. They're steel toe though, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I already set this up. So we have a new uh, pivot bushing and clip. 
uh, and a new throttle bearing. Grease the slider, you guys know the deal. Everything's all fresh, ready to go. So we'll have a decent feeling transmission. There we go, boys. I'm happy a bunch of people just showed up. You guys ready to put an engine in? <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> I'm driving. Who's, You're gonna drive? Who's navigating? All right, so the big one is a navigator. really gotta make sure this doesn't get caught in anything. Oh. Okay, do you want me to set up? I'll set up the tripod. Assist. Yeah, yeah, we, know, we need all hands, all hands on deck. Right. Yeah. So the BMW oil pan is really bulking at a really weird angle, so it likes to get caught up on everything. So hopefully we can get this in pretty smoothly. Steering shaft is out, a lot of stuff is out, so wish us luck. Yeah, that was honestly one of the smoothest BMW. Yeah, the BMW. Usually, to make your life easier, you kind of unbolt one of the engine pedestals. You need to, so the JDM driver's side is off. But before we put it on, we have to do one thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, oh yeah, that this, is very. Important. This is it. This is the main piece of the puzzle right here, boys. Nice. This crazy downpipe that Morfab made for me. Uh, it doesn't fit unless the engine's jacked up. So, or your brake boosters out. So you pick. Look at my hair. All this room. Cool. Now this could sit. Oh, you're just leaving it. Yeah. Oh, no. darn pedestal. Oh, it literally wasn't even there. Nope. No, 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 no. no. Like... All right, boys. Got to lower it down. You good under there, kiddo? And we're good to go. My toes are getting cold. <laughs> really? <laughs> She's got a heart again. Woo! Right, here we go. Did I do it right? No, I did. I do it wrong every time. Okay, hold Dude, on. Dude, give me a you? second. That looks right though. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. No, I did it right. Is no, this that's the right. Wrong belt? Something's either wrong belt or wrong tensioner setup. Where did this belt come from then? Someone stressed. This was in the car. Yeah, so uh, I, I went with a smaller water pump pulley. Completely forgot. Yeah, it's all right. I had this belt. I stole off the E30 motor. Don't get mad at me. That poor E30. You mean the part? Don't, don't fuck it, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> parts. Don't say it. Don't finish that sentence, huh? It's a parts car. Ah! Oh, we have parts, we have. I'm gonna prove your ass wrong soon, kid. You prove better. ass wrong. You're better. That's all I want. I'll continue to talk smack until that thing turns the key and drives. So I got excited, I'm just throwing stuff in as I find out my workbench. But, I know. Uh, getting the turbo on, everything on. So luckily, like before um, I took it out, you know, after we blew it up, um, Everything was set, right? So I don't have to like recreate anything. It's kind of just like throwing it all back together, just trying to make it look really nice in the, in the process of doing so. It's coming together, it looks great. Hopefully it performs well because I can't fathom taking this thing apart again. You just sell it at that point. No. <laughs> you know how many engines have been in and out of this thing? I'm feeling optimistic. No, this thing, this thing is gonna make some sauce, dude. This thing is gonna make the heat. Dude, it should make. Lots of horse pop. Way more than the clutch can handle right now. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's a big one. Um, I hope everyone likes clutch content. Oh, did I get lucky? Oh, hell yeah. All right, where are you at? All right, so, um, well, the, one of the biggest issues we had on the dyno originally was we had like crazy boost creep, right? Like it was over boosted. Yeah, that's, that's Which, like part of what killed it. Yeah, it's ultimately what killed it because we just kind of made it boost a little bit too much. But uh, Derek was fully convinced it was a manifold, right? Whatever, it makes sense. You know, it pushes a lot of air, it's a 3 0, whatever. Um, but I talked to a lot of people who had this manifold and didn't have an issue, so I'd like to blame my wastegate. And it doesn't really help that I had an eBay wastegate. So shame on me, right? My fault. It worked on the Jay Z, honestly. It worked on that. the Jay Z. That's why I grabbed it because I was like, I know this one works. Well, shame on me. I was cheap and it screwed me over. So I got a real tile. It hurt to buy. But wow, you weren't, it. It. weren't cheap this time. Huh? This time, yeah. So, all right, we're good. Good? Yeah, thank you. How are you, Jay? Now we can throw on my handy dandy screamer tube here. <laughs> the question is, how long until I melt my fog light? Your oh. fog light, or you just <laughs> one day you have a huge backfire and you just blow a tire out? <laughs> <laughs> until then. Hey, what are you doing? We just put the wastegate on. What do you want for gate? What, what, what should we do for gate pressure? What you said you want to be able to make six, seven hundred. What's so you're gonna need like. I'm gonna yeah, need like 20, 25 to 27 psi. Exactly. So, I was 14 thinking. on gate? Yeah, let's do 14. 14. 12, 12 on gate, just in case like my mom wants to drive it or something. Something like, you know? I hear I, 24 pounds is a nice number to. 
Fine. No, we're, 12, we're, 12 or 14, one of the two. 14 on game. What do you what think? Is, what do you think is going to make on 14? That's the question. On ethanol? Yeah. Like 400 and probably 400 and 400 horsepower, maybe 420 ish. Good number. Let's do it. So the most important thing when putting springs in your wastegate is never pinch this thing. It's so easy to pinch a diaphragm, and you pinch it, everything sucks. Your boost is all over the place. You don't have a good time. Sorry. Right. Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. All right, so I found the harness. Super, I thought I lost it for a second, just like everything else in the swap. But uh, I actually did label most of the wires, so I'm happy with myself. Usually I'm good with not labeling these things, but the BMW, the E36, uh, uses like two different plugs. So that makes things difficult. All right, so I think I can get this in pretty quick because I did everything nicely the first time. So time lapse it? Yeah, time lapse it. Right. I can go back in the office and do work. So that surprisingly went very smoothly, super happy, but now it is actually time I could throw the intake on, which is huge, because once the intake is on, Sammy, what does that mean? We're closer to not having to work on it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, uh, it looks complete when the intake's on and nice and pretty, so. That too, less lopsidedness. This is what happens when your intake sits for, you know. Well, that's got dust from <laughs> many cars. the black car. Uh-huh, in your car. That car most cars and just normal atmospheric dust. <laughs> All right, so this is actually a piece I'm really stoked about. So Seems Legit Garage actually sent this to me, which is really awesome. What this does is, well, usually there's a plastic one just like this that goes here in the factory, and well, it's plastic. And uh, it doesn't really hold up too well. One to the ages and two to, well, anything over zero PSI, so. This is actually a huge upgrade. This is probably a giant boost leak before. This is a sick piece, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. Brian got it for his car when we did his M50 um, intake, and I was like, oof, I need that. Need so it. the guys now, it seems legit. We're awesome enough to send me one. Look at that. Seems oh. legit. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me a little closer so I can check it out. Oh, yeah, just like that. Oh, we go. baby. Does it look like something now? <laughs> oh, can yeah. you feel it now, Sammy? I can feel it. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, the intake is on. Now to complete it for tonight, because I'm kind of tired, is the injectors. And of course, I have to give a shout to uh, DW, Dishworks. Uh, they always hook us up. They treat us very well down here. And uh, their products has always done us amazing. We've never had a fuel issue on anything ever. Um, it always performs really well. Everything's been very consistent. The quality is always amazing. And I mean, realistically, when it comes to fuel components, that's all you can ask for. So all I know is my BMW is in great hands with this little DW1000s. Uh, these are actually a drop-in kit for the E36, which is really cool. Mm. So, I think we even have that on the website, so shopjimio.com if you need injectors. Hop below. Hop below. Also, can we talk about how we had just had a merch drop like two days ago? Yo. You did? <laughs> Check it out. So this is like our new like shop hoodie. It's just like the oh, right? Simple black. We have burgundy. You can't beat it. And we're doing that little giveaway, the powder-coated K-series valve covers, which are really, really dope. And that goes till Monday. So hurry up. Cop something, anything over $25, get you an entry, and simple as that. And even better, that 240s and shorty shirt everybody was asking for, it is here. It is back in stock. Are you just gonna be so happy you did that? All right, well, I've gone crazy all day trying to get this thing back together. It's been pretty smooth, I'm really happy. Luckily, all like the stuff is figured out, right? All the R&D of the swap is done. Now it's kind of bolting everything back together, trying to make it look nice and everything root all comfortably, but we're almost there. Uh, I could probably honestly start it up right now if I plug the ECU in, but uh, since it is a built engine, I kind of want to go through a really nice, you know, startup process where there's coolant in it and I can let it idle for a while and get the rings all settled and then you guys know the deal. So we're going to wait. Um, very, very happy with the progress today. I know I kind of slacked on filming big time, but you guys have seen me do the swap so many times. And honestly, I was just in a productive mood and, well, had to make things happen. So uh, we're getting close. We're getting really, really close. We got a couple more things to tidy up, but we should hear this thing fire very shortly. And I'm really nervous, but I'm even more excited. So um, we're gonna end it there. So you guys know the deal, hop low, shop Jimmy O, cop some new merch uh, before the giveaway ends. Uh, so you guys have a chance to win some pretty cool stuff. And uh, well, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content and
probably see you guys tomorrow.